I love you more and more. Laura Styles, Rosenberg, and the young man, G Herbo. Give Yo. it up, Herbo. Herbo. <laughs> Yo, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. I've been chilling, bro. You know, it's always good to come back here, though, man. You know, I love these New York runs, man. I've just been chilling, though, working. Where you, where you uh, spending most of your time now? Are you here most of the time? You're mm -hmm. in Chicago most of the time, right? Nah, right. Uh, probably equal between, like, Chicago, Atlanta, a little mm -hmm. bit of L.A. I just be back and forth there because I, I like the work, you know what I'm saying, the work vibe. I just like being to and from the crib to the studio, whatever else I got to do, you know, interviews, whatever. But I've been, like, really just on being a homebody lately, man. Just, you know what I'm saying, knocking out everything I got to do work-related. I've been just chilling. So... Your first rap name for the audience watching was Lil Herb. Lil Herb. <laughs> and I remember I was like, this man named himself Lil What? Lil Herb, because old school, like a old right. school yeah. diss. Yeah. Hip hop diss was when you call somebody a herb, yo. He's a herb. A herb. What that mean? What that meant? That though, means like, like you're a cornball, like right. a square. That's like <laughs> I was like a diss, and we I was like, why would he name himself? I, I, that? I just he remember now we had this conversation. Nah, never in my life. Well, he's yeah, from yeah. a different generation. And I your never. real name is probably Herb. That's what I'm saying. So that's his real name. Right. I ain't never so he was like Lil Herb. I was like, he needs to change that. Nah, you know? like I never heard of that before. Like my my dad named Herb. You know my my real name, my government name Herbert. That's you know? what I'm saying, Herbert. Yeah, yeah. My you dad have good named friends. Herbert. That means you have good friends. Well, Herbert. no, it's a different generation. Like that's an old school dish. Yo, he's such a Herb. You Look think it's more of a West Coast thing? I ain't thing? never heard. Nah, it's uh -huh. New York all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, your friends didn't tell you. They, they were so nice. Did. They didn't want to make you feel bad. Like, you know, yo, and you just started working with my guy, Money Nails. Yeah, he yeah, knows yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, dick. Yeah. Like back in the day, that's almost like fighting. You call somebody a hurt, yo, you a fucking hurt. That's Niggas crazy. be like, what's up? But you know, I'm silly like that. So if I had I known, I'd be calling motherfuckers hurt. Like, get your hurt ass. Get your hurt ass out of here. But don't play with me, though. You can't play with my name like that. So, but, let, but let's, I know you talked about this some, but I was telling uh, Eva before you got here that right away from like the first time I met you, I could tell that you sort of wanted to distance yourself maybe a little bit. Like, you were very much a Chicago MC, but you also clearly made a decision that you weren't going to get caught up in what was, like, the full Chirac right. situation, and you wanted to spread your wings and do more than that. So can you tell us a little bit about how you came to that decision and, you know, whether or not the name change corresponded with sort of lifestyle changes as well? Um, yeah, I'd say overall, yeah. Uh, and it was really me always trying to distance myself and stay in my own lane. That's just um, the type of guy I am. I feel like when I started rapping, it was uh, it was different. You know, I ain't never really strive to be a rapper. I was in school. I was playing basketball. You feel me? So, like when I started rapping, I was rapping about my life and the and the stuff I was going to, which was unique. You know, like a lot of people from Chicago got the same story, but it's only a handful that really, you know, what I'm saying could probably say they actually been through and experienced some of the same mm -hmm. stuff that I've been through. You know, so. It was really just that I was always unique from the start. I never really wanted to fall under the whole drill wave. I was just talking about my actual life at the moment and what I was doing, what I was going through. What made like your situation people. so unique compared, do you think, to some of the other drill artists? Um, Because I, even still with Chicago and all the negative stuff that was going around, going on around me, I never promoted, you know what I'm saying, negativity. I was just really talking about my life. Now, if that's the actual, you know what I'm saying, facts and what's going on. If it's negative, I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not promoting it. It's just my You're life. You're not encouraging right, people I'm not encouraging that. it. I'm just enlightening the world on what I've been through and, and what made me the person I am today. You know, like, I had a lot of growing up to do. I'm 21 now. I probably started rapping when I was, like, 15, 16, mm. you know, so I was just rapping about everything that was going on at the moment, but it was from a 15, 16-year-old perspective. I was still a young man and thinking like a man, but... I still had to grow. On top of that, it was more I had to Mature learn and see. And that. and that was really um, a, a part of the, of the name, too. I, I, um, I, I changed my name to G Herbo, but it really wasn't even um, a decision I made. It was just, you know, the people around me, like my brother, my, you know, my homie, like everybody that's around me, my personal, you know what I'm saying, people, my, my family and friends started calling me that because the G really, like, it, it's a symbol of leadership. It stands mm. for, you know what I'm saying, young general. It's just the way I move and think and, and carry myself like a man before anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm a leader. I never fell under waves and what was popular or nothing like that. I'm going to be myself whether you don't like it or not or understand. You know what I'm saying? And everybody around me like that. So I ain't the only one with a G in front of his name. You feel me? It's just 
it symbolizes growth, leadership, you know, stuff like that, you feel me? So that's really the way I move. Like, I, I move like an artist, you know what I'm saying? And I, I like having fun, but I think about my life. I'm doing everything I'm doing right now to 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 set myself up five, ten years down the line, you know, and I don't know if other people think like that. And Chicago OGs like Common really embrace you. Can you yeah. talk about some of those conversations yeah, and like some Common. of the best advice he gave you? No, I love Common. Like I love him. That's that's like my big brother, you know. So I know Common it. was a wild boy back in the day. Yeah, I, don't know I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I heard a lot of stories about Common. Y'all you know? think he just yarned <laughs> pants and love songs. <laughs> no, I heard a lot of stories about Common and that's that's another reason why it don't matter who you who you are, what you come from, you could come you could rise above it, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like usually the guys who actually from the streets and been through real life street shit and the struggle, you know what I'm saying? They 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 rise above it. You feel me? Like nobody, and they don't wanna promote right, nobody it wanna about promote it. it or brag about the lifestyle that they lived if you know you live that life. You try mm-hmm. to you live it to enrich your life, you know what I'm saying, and make the people lives around you better, you know, and the same with common. Like he he even since I met him, he always knew I was unique and I was a listener. Even though I was young, I probably was wild when I met him, like seventeen. I wasn't I didn't have the same mindset I got today. Like even when I started rapping, I was taking everything I was doing seriously, but I wasn't a hundred percent. I was like in and out the streets still and I you can't do that, you feel me? So really just me being around people like Common and No ID, those type of guys, I, I suck up all the knowledge I could get. You know what I'm saying? Like that's Common, such a blessing. Common, that's a real dude. Wow. You feel me? Like when I started, when I when I first rehearsed for my first ever movie script, I was nervous. Common told me to come down to his room downtown and like rehearse with me. I'm I'm tripping off of it because he a real like actor and entertainer. You know, like yeah. he 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 zoned out in the room. You feel me? Like helping me with my script. And I ain't used to that. I, you know what I'm saying? He just really helped me. Like, look, if you about to do something, you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because he looking at me and he mugging me. I'm like, it's making me nervous, <laughs> but he helping me with the script. You feel me? So, like, just from a big brother perspective, you know what I'm saying? It, anybody who embrace you and want to see you win and want you to learn from them, you got to take advantage of it. You know, so that's just why I'm at with anything, with common, my big brothers, anybody who know more than me or just seeing more, I'm going to listen. Regardless, even if you don't know more than me, I'm going to listen to what you have to say and then I analyze and compare and contrast on my own, you know? How is that affecting your music right now? Because I know we got some new music coming yeah. for you on the way. I know uh, you were saying you you're <laughs> having fun recording, so yeah. who are you working with? Um, I've, I've really been just well-rounded lately. I've been working with a, a lot of my peers, Uzi, Yachty, Bibby, of course, um, East, like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Really, I can't even point my finger on one specific person, you know, I still fuck with Dirk, he from the crib, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So everybody, I, I've been really just trying to work as much as possible. And as far as my music, it inspired my music because I only strive to get better, you know? So like, I, I'm still a, a hip hop student. I still study the culture, the art of hip hop. I still want to be a lyricist. I still, you know what I'm saying, want to learn how to turn my shows up and sell my shows out, rock shows and still, bring the crowd in to tell them my story and my life, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to keep it balanced out. Um, I want to say I, I probably, if I was to compare myself to anybody, not even comparing, I just, I, I look, you look for up like, to right yeah, now, watch I look for Hove and, and Meek is like an yeah. inspiration right now, you know what I'm saying? Because I could relate. They, they street dudes, you feel me, that come from the same type of struggle I come from, rose above it, uh, leaders, business men at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, before anything. And um entertainers and that's what i that's what i strive to be bro i want to i want to be legendary i want to be remembered like it's cool to do what i'm doing right now but i feel like five ten years down the line even five years down the line if i haven't changed other people's lives or changed my life and everybody around me more than even what it is today i feel like i didn't even succeed you know what i'm saying it's i have more in store for myself than probably what the average artist what is the what is the perspective i mean you know, for the last, it feels like four or five years, and even before that, but it became mainstream of the violence and, and what's happening in Chicago, right? Yeah. And, and you talking about rising above that. And now you have, I'm sure, 10, 11, 12-year-old kids that are fans of yours back at, at yeah, home. Exactly. Right? Um, A, you know, did you, who were you looking at when you was young? Who right. did you want to be? Um, when I was younger, um, I, you know, like I said, I, I wanted to play basketball all my life. Like, I probably started rapping when I was, like, 15. And 
I had a bunch of influences, you know, like just being in Chicago, it was street dudes that I looked up to, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Other athletes I looked up to, um, artists. What, what basketball? Like, I'm guessing you were a guard. Yeah, I was a point guard. So what, who, who did you most, uh, what, what guards did you most love? Um, AI, Derrick Rose, um, my favorite guard of all time is Allen Iverson. All the time. And the reason I ask you that is because Chicago, over the last several years now, now there's new young leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yourself. Right. Bibby, right? Exactly. Dirt, Chance, right? The whole, like, I remember the first time we had Bibby here, he didn't even, I was I was like, who you look up to? And he was, you know, kind of Kanye, like, he didn't yeah. really connect with Kanye because right. Kanye hasn't really been in Chicago regularly, yeah. right, right, in many years. So now, these 11, 12 year olds, they have you. Yeah. Are you seeing different behavior because now you guys can lay a different path out? Yeah. That can hopefully detour people from some of the pitfalls that y'all feel. Yeah, like I I really try to, as much as I can, bro, I try to talk to the kids and just stir them, just steer them on the right path, you know, because I know they look up to us and a lot of times they don't understand what made us what we are. I don't think the same as I did when I was 14, 15, 16, you know what I'm saying? And I know. A lot of them still stuck on the mindset I had from listening to my music a long time ago, but I wasn't promoting violence or none of that. I was just talking about my life and what I was actually going through at the moment, you know? So I just try to tell kids, it's not what you are, it's what made you what you are. And really the situations that made you what you are, I think a certain way. So if you never had to live the life that I lived, you shouldn't choose that life for yourself because there's other things that you could do. You could be anything, literally, like, I I try to tell kids that you can literally be anything you want to be as long as you strive to be that. Like, it's no coincidence. Nobody wake up and just say, I'm successful. Because you could lose that success the same way you woke up and got it. You got to plan and just set yourself up to be whatever you want to be in life. And and the kids, it's just certain principles and morals to life that they have to stick to. And that's with anything that you're doing, whether you're a rapper, basketball player, lawyer, doctor. Just sticking to what you know and love, keeping faith and setting yourself up for whatever it is you want in life. And what I mean by setting yourself up is putting in the overtime, the work, the sacrifice that come with it. You know, anything that you want to do in life is going to require a sacrifice, whether it's big or small. Usually the small sacrifice, uh, they give you the best outcome that you want. You know what I'm saying? If people don't understand that, I try to tell the kids that my little sisters, my little cousins a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just really school and whatever y'all doing is important. If you're still in school right now, sophomore, junior, senior, why are you dropping out? You have everything, mm-hmm. like, right in your face. You know what I'm saying? Like, why and drop out And you got people then? still want to help exactly, you. Exactly, that still want to help you. I never heard that. I never heard nobody that I could really, that I know understand me and went through the same thing I went through that won't good for me. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I try to do for the kids, you know, and, and it's, I, like, I try to tell them, I dropped out of school only because I was doing something that was going to change my life and the people's lives around me. I knew what I was doing already, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew the step I was taking, the sacrifice I was making when I when I stopped going to school, you know what I'm saying? I try to just let people understand that it's not about what you do, it's what you're doing it for and how you do it, you know Would you saying? ever go back to school, finish? Yeah, I go back to school. I'm actually in school right now, finishing oh. online classes, you know, okay. so... I'm I'm getting that together right now, but I just try to tell the kids as much as possible. School is is real important. And didn't didn't Lil Wayne now. once turn around? He went back to college. Didn't Lil Wayne yeah, yeah. after he got yeah. popping yeah, yeah, as a kid yeah, turn yeah. back around? Went and got his college that. degree and all that, that right? Yeah, yeah. You gonna go that. that far with it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, why not, right? I, I, yeah, I take school serious, bro. If I had time to do it, you know what I'm saying? I I still try to feed my mind as much as possible. I still read and you know what I'm saying stuff like that. You feel me? I don't just knock school, yeah. you know. So. Is if I if I could definitely go back and go to college, I'll finish. Baby about to go to college. Like I don't know where he keep on he happy, he excited to go to college. That's all they keep talking about. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I told you, bro, you're gonna love G Herbo. I'm 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 loving this kid. Right I know I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Now I gotta go back. I, there's a what was the record? There was a record I was playing. G Herbo and Shipes had given it to us when you first started working with Cinematic. Um, and you had just changed your name. I don't know, bro. I just be, I be working. Was it on with ASAP so much Fur? Shit. Was that be... a, was it G Herbo ASAP Fur? Well, nah, maybe me and Joey Badass. Drew, Lord, Lord knows, Joey, right? yeah, Lord yeah, knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what Hell it was. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that that shit hard. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my favorite joints too. So you collab with all those? That record. Oh, your mom, see, <laughs> your mom, what? old man, my mama like that record. Really? Yeah. yeah. Of course, of course, you like. You know what I'm saying? Forty years old, man. How's your mom? Uh, my mom, forty 
seven. See, we almost the same, 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 same area. Lord knows. <laughs> so is G Herbo the type of artist we supposed to throw on a beat for and see what these bars is like? Oh yeah, man, you got to. That's yeah, what we supposed to do. Like, like, like what like to do. So look, intro <laughs> the new record we supposed to play. Let's play the record. When we come back. G Herbo got bars for the people. I love everything uh, you saying. Yeah. You being a young man in the game. I mean, you know, we've had some run-ins up here with Cass that got on this microphone and it wasn't quite ready for the lyrics. Facts. <laughs> They make great hooks, though, yeah. and they're great people. Yeah. They're very melodic. It's cute stuff. It's, it's very <laughs> it's cute, cute, nice stuff. stuff. It's <laughs> cute stuff. Um, but, you know, I want you know, I think people need to see the young people spit spit a little something because yeah, rappers man. are still out here. MCs yeah, are still yeah. out here. Yeah, yeah, I'm still a... I'm, I am a lyricist. I'm yeah. a hip-hop fan. I respect the culture. Yeah. I study it. So yeah. you got to be able to... Yeah. It's what it is, right? That's <laughs> what we're supposed to be doing. I right, introduced the record. Is it? Uh, man, I'm a, we gonna go into this record right now, man. This this is actually one of my favorite joints. I had to grow into it over time, man. This um my new single, man, for the ladies. Pull up. Let's go. G Herbo, Hot Nine Seven, Lord Styles, Rosenberg, Ebro. Hey. That's all right. I appreciate. So we doing that. something unprecedented now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We giving G Herbo. A run back. Y'all give me a run yeah. back. Give me a run back. Man. Give me a run back. Hold on. From the top, from the top, real quick. Give me a run back, man. I got Rewind you. Runs Here back. we go. Hey. Uh, Look, we're gonna get these rappers. You would think I was born yesterday the way I'm scaring them. Used to dream of rollies in my sleep, now I'm wearing them. Niggas say they gonna do this and that while I'm daring them. 40 in the 45, hollow star sharing them. I can't rap this with niggas cause I'm really in the streets. If I catch them out in public, then I gotta embarrass them. Niggas gangsters on the internet, it's all embarrassing. Last nigga disrespecting me, probably buried them. I remember when we was hustling, taking road trips, calling plugs with the ETA to meet me at the Sheridan. Nervous than the bitch, my whole trunk full of heroin. Ryan real fast, smoking bars like Harrison. G Herbo. Keep, keep going, Herbo. Watch keep going. You got more? Yeah, he does. And now when I reflect on my past life to keep me humble, help me balance out in my fast life. Woke up with no heat, no gas, middle of December. Mom's boiling bath water, nigga, I remember. I ain't even like baths, but I couldn't take a shower. 30 minutes getting the water hot at school later hour. Now I'm in the tower, pool's by the shower. Smoking out the pound, hallways smell like sour. I used to grind 100 days of real, and that shit ain't still ain't over. 150 dream team, I'm trying to run my shit like hover. Always remind myself not to get beside myself. If this rap shit take me over, I'll be right back on that sofa. In a trap on 78, fucking up that bacon soda. No sleep up here, police gotta make out the back door with the toaster. Woo! G Herbo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You, got more, you got more? I got more. Go ahead, I got go ahead, too, man. I've been too much, man. I got too much. Now you it, People judge and they outcast what they don't understand. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, look, look, hey, hey, you heard about what I tell them, look. People judge and they outcast what they don't understand. The state don't care why you was crossing borders with them grams. There's no, ah, ah, ah. Uh. You sure you want look, more? You sure you want more? more? People judge and they outcast what they don't understand. The state don't care why you was crossing, ah. Uh. It just scared me, it just scared me. The beat just scared me, man. Nah, I got nah, 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 Go. People judge and they outcast what they don't understand. The state don't care why you was crossing borders with them grams. Nobody gonna support your daughter, ain't gonna feed your fam. And ain't no jobs for you, but you ain't gonna starve, are you? I come from the slums, number murder drugs. All the mother's addicts, all the daddy's thugs. I rise above that, but all my people fuck with me, so I show love back. I can't forget where I come from and I shed blood, eh? It's tatted on me, niggas know right where my hood at. It wouldn't mean shit if I couldn't go back where I'm good at. I'm by that corner store where Lil Rock off that slug at. Mm. And all the shit we did, it feel like it was yesterday. You Kobe cop was on the block, feel like it was yesterday. I can't forget about my niggas, cause I miss my niggas. Way before this rap shit, I was with my niggas. Look. Mm, G Herbo. <laughs> Herbo, like, yo, oh, yeah, he's G dropping Herbo, a lot there. Hey. He's dropping Look, a lot there. I appreciate there. the work, though. <laughs> I appreciate nah, the work. I ain't gonna lie, I'll I, I be passionate about shit like that. Like, freestyling. It, that's that's as big as selling albums to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like if you can't really freestyle and just off the top and shit like that, and really embracing it and let motherfuckers feel you, I, it's like I, that's what that's what I look, live for. That's why I, I rap. For, like, look, you took your L right there and came back and gave some uh, more to look, it. That's what lie. it is. I, I had I took the L because I had to make sure that it was gonna come out a W at the right, end. Right, 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 right